The GIS and Geoinformatics Lab is an independent study project for our master students to work with the mobile geoinformation technologies. And the goal is that the students actually work with both state-of-the-art technologies and also with novel technologies, including application design and programming. For example, during the last years, our students have developed a mobile location-based game for the city of Zurich. And they also have developed a Google Glass application for ETH's green management. Uh, nowadays, uh, mixed reality brings a lot of exciting possibilities for geoinformation engineering. And uh, one example for that would be uh, visualizing and interacting with spatial objects in the underground. And this is the reason why we decided to choose the HoloLens uh, technology for this year's lab. Within a short time period, you can learn um, how to deal with this uh, HoloLens, you can apply it. Uh, the environment offered by, by uh, Unity in combination with the, the Holo Toolkit and the, the HoloLens um, are great. This year's educational setting um, was, of course, um, geoinformation technology, software, but also some gamification elements. Um, the final results should be games, um, teamwork and pitching. The semester started with three uh, classroom talks, where the third one was an industry talk, uh, where we invited um, industry leaders, Microsoft, ASV and Afka, they gave uh, inspiring talks about mixed reality, demonstrating samples, but also giving hints about coding, uh, resource centers, YouTube videos, etc. After concept presentations, the student, students start with the developing process. They made it iteratively, that means they implemented um, code snippets here in the lab, and then they tested with the directly with the device, with the whole answers. We had those whole answers from ETH LED and we had four devices so the student groups could independently code, test, code, test. For it also because it's a new, so it's challenging. And then if you conquer this challenge and you feel a sense of achievement. It drove us to an extent like we could stay all night. Yesterday like I was all night here, I didn't go back home. We had again a final presentation, um, like every year, but this year it was public. So we invited uh, again these industry leaders and also people from higher education, um, from administration, people interested in mixed reality in this new technology. I think the final presentations were great. The students uh, did a great job. The demonstrations uh, worked, but we are also very, very satisfied about the whole semester, about the whole lab. High engagement, especially the last two weeks, 24-7, uh, spending times uh, here in, in the lab. That is also the fun part of it. Like in the very beginning of the project, you need to really think about how it can be used. So I think in our project case, we found a use case, like a, you, because nobody can see through the underground, but however, you can see the virtual object underground. So that's a great application, and I'm sure there will be ne many more applications in the future to be explored, yeah. So the course uh, was an amazing experience for me because of the spatial abilities which are uh, possible to do with, uh, with the HoloLens. The ab abilities are different than all the other technologies I've um, tried already. The experience of being able to including it into the surrounding environment, so the mixed reality, is really an opportunity that offers a new perspective. I and my three colleagues, um, we were four supervisors, we are already considering to continue this, this project with, uh, with the HoloLens because it was much fun and it worked and we are brainstorming about uh, next year's uh, JS lab. Mm -hmm.